So really great neighbors, and they let me cut their rhubarb. Look how beautiful that is. This is a really beautiful one. This so we'll just haul these over back. Thank you. So I have my rhubarb for my lovely neighbors, and I've took, taken all the leaves off, and I'm just cutting it up into smaller pieces, not too, too big. When you first get it, it's very hard. It's like celery, very stiff, very firm, but it cooks down very, very quickly, and it becomes this beautiful, soft, moistened fruit. So I'm making a sweet version of rhubarb compote, or just stewed rhubarb. And it doesn't take long at all to cook, but it's about four cups of rhubarb to one cup of sugar. Rhubarb is very tart. You can also use honey. Then I use a little bit of lemon juice and vanilla. Let that cook down for about five to 10 minutes. Then let it cool. You can also make a savory version where you cook down onions and get that really sweet and caramelized. Add your rhubarb. And still add vanilla, but add salt instead. And that's really good on like grilled pork, grilled fish, um, even with cheeses. So rhubarb is very, very versatile. I'm gonna make a parfait. I love either yogurt or creme fraiche or um, whipped cream or a combination. And I'm just gonna do layers. And I actually like a little bit of, you could use peanuts, which would be good. Um, I'm gonna use pistachios, because it's really pretty and then you can drizzle a little bit of honey over it. It's a really simple and lovely dessert. You can make them up ahead of time. Just keep some of the pistachios on the side so you can add it at the very last minute to have a little bit of crunch. This is a really quick, easy, simple summer dessert, especially if you have neighbors who have wonderful rhubarb growing. And there you have it. This is rhubarb parfait.